Adventures with Morty. Today we're going on an adventure. Can you guess where we're going? Well, here's the deal. I will give you three clues to see if you can guess where we're going on our adventure today. Here's the first clue. A leaf. Here's clue number two. A flamingo. Okay, here's the last clue. A peacock feather. A leaf, a flamingo, and a peacock feather. Any idea where we're going today? Well, let's go find out. Welcome to our field trip at Adastra Gardens. Today, we're going exploring for the national symbols of our country, the Bahamas. I wonder how many of them we're going to find. Come on, let's go. Were you right? Did you know that we were going to Adastra Gardens? We went to Adastra Gardens to look for the national symbols of the Bahamas. Do you know what a national symbol is? Well, national symbols are the things or representations that are used by a country to make it different, to set it apart from the other countries. We live in the Bahamas. There are many islands in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Which island do you live on? Well, the people that are from the Bahamas are called Bahamians. Yep, that's right, Bahamians. So which island do you live on? Do you live on the island of Grand Bahama? Or maybe you live on the island of Long Island. Hey, and did you know there's an island called Kiat Island? Yeah, that's true. Or maybe you live right here in the capital, New Providence. Just remember, no matter which island you live on in the Bahamas, we are all a part of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And in the Bahamas, we have our own special national symbols. Do you know what they are? Well, we're going exploring through Adastra Gardens to see how many of them we can find. The first one we're going to look at is, I won't tell you, let's go. So the first national symbol that we're going to spot is the yellow elder. The yellow elder is the national flower of the Bahamas. Let's go look at the tree. Well, here it is, but there aren't any flowers on it at this time. But this is how the yellow elder tree looks. It's really tall, isn't it? Awesome. Let's see what other national symbol we can spot. Come on, let's go. Awesome. Did you see those pictures of the yellow elder? Isn't it beautiful? I love its bright yellow color. Well, the next two national symbols we're gonna look at are... I'm not gonna tell you again. Here's our next national symbol the national tree of the Bahamas. It's called the lignum vitae. Do you know what it means? It means tree of life. Let's take a look at it. Whoa, 
It's really big. Now, let's go and see if we can find the national bird of the Bahamas. Do you know what it is? Well, let's go and see if we can find them. Alright, guess what? We found the national bird of the Bahamas. And they're called the pink flamingos. And here they are. Did you know that we can find them mostly on the island called Agua. Well, let's take a look at them. So let's recap. So far we saw the yellow elder, we saw the lignum vitae, we also saw the pink flamingo. That's not all. There is a national fish, and the national fish of the Bahamas is, drum roll please, the blue marlin. Let's look at some pictures of the blue marlin and see what it looks like. Yep, there's the blue marlin, and that's the national fish of the Bahamas. Well, here's another one. We also have the national flag. Every country has a flag that represents that nation or that country. What does the flag of the Bahamas look like? Have you ever seen one? Well, here's a picture. Yep, the flag of the Bahamas has three colors. Those three colors are black, aquamarine and gold. Here's another national symbol of the Bahamas. Let's take a look at it. This is called the coat of arms. The coat of arms is like a crest that is used by the Bahamas. There are some national symbols that are on the coat of arms. Can you spot any of those that we talked about already? Guess what? You can find this symbol, the coat of arms, on any Bahamian coin. So you can find the one cent, the five cent, the 10 cent, the 25 cent, and there you'll see it, the coat of arms. So do you remember all of the national symbols we talked about? Let's see how many of them you can remember. There was the yellow elder, the lignum vitae, the pink flamingo. Uh, can you help me out? Yeah, the blue marlin. What else was there? The national flag and the coat of arms. Yeah, all of those make up the national symbols of the Bahamas. Guess what? I also got to meet a boa constrictor. Do you know what kind of animal is a boa constrictor? Well, Andrew introduced me to a boa constrictor that lives at Adastra Gardens. Let's go meet him. And his name's Dexter. Say hi, Dexter. Isn't this cool? And here's another cool fact. Snakes smell with their tongues. Do you remember what you smell with? Yep, your nose. Don't try smelling with your tongue, please. All right, see you next time. Bye. Wasn't that awesome? This was so cool. And he was really friendly. Well, I'll show you some more pictures that I took while I visited Adastra Gardens. 
you should visit sometimes and support those animals that live there. They really need your help. Well, thanks again for joining me on Adventures with Morty. <laughs>